Hey guys, Hoppy Hunting here. So today I'm going hunting with my little brother, Steven. How's it going? And we are at one of my favorite sites along the cliffs. So we're gonna try to find some shark teeth and other cool fossils. This is actually his first time ever going shark tooth hunting. So I'm really excited to show him my passion for finding shark teeth and he gets to find his first shark tooth today. As you might be able to see on the horizon, it's pretty hazy right now. And that's actually smoke that's blowing in from the north from the Canada wildfires. So the air quality is not the best today, but we're being careful. We're not gonna be out here too long. We'll only be out here for a few hours, but that should be enough time for us to find some cool stuff. So let's see what we can find. Let's, let's go. go. We found some little, but this is the first decent tooth of the day, right there. A little tiger shark tooth. Beautiful. Nice. Looks like a little lemon shark tooth right there. That's nice. It's small, but look at the color on this tiger shark tooth. Clean it off. Beautiful, deep orange, almost red. Really nice. And right next to it, another tiger, or maybe some tortoise. Colors of this site are just great. It's like a hemi. Right there. Sweet. This is the extinct snaggletooth shark. Beautiful tooth. I almost stepped on this one underneath this log. Looks like a contortus, probably. Oh, nice. That is beautiful. Love that white cream color. Got a tooth in the water here. I hope it's whole. You can see it right there. It's partially buried. Ooh, yeah. Lower hemi. Nice. That's a really nice tooth. Just got to this huge cliff fall. Looks pretty recent. Look at those giant blocks right there that fell. So this is why you gotta be really careful when you're near the cliffs. Try to spend most of your time further out, not right under the cliffs, because that could fall at any moment. You never know. Looks like a little dolphin tooth right where the waves are breaking. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is a really nice one. I didn't think the root was that long. Sweet. That's my trip maker so far. Awesome dolphin tooth. Looks like a contortus. Nice. Nice tiger shark teeth. Right there. Awesome. I wasn't sure if it was bone when I picked it up, so I didn't film it. But this right here, is the radius one of the forearm bones of a cetacean either a whale or dolphin but it's actually complete you can see the rough surfaces there where the epiphysis would be pretty awesome it's like a hemi right here in the water oh nice colors look at that challenging my little brother find the tooth Got it. Oh, what is that? It's a, uh, it's a tiger. It's a tiger. Yeah. Yep. It's a nice one too. It's not a very big one, but I just found a meg. Check this out. Do you see it? It's right there. Sweet little meg. It's got some damage. Definitely not perfect. But a Meg's a Meg. Awesome. Looks like a good sized tooth right where the waves are breaking. This foam's covering it. Right now, it should be right there. Just gonna reach for it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Little Mako. 
awesome. All right, guys, so we're just taking a quick break and getting some water. It's starting to get a little dark, and I think low tide is right about now, so the water's gonna start coming in, and we haven't even walked the whole stretch yet, but uh, once we do, we're gonna turn around and walk it again, and then once it really starts to get dark, we'll hop in the boat and head back to the boat ramp. But there's still plenty of time to find some good stuff, so let's see what else we can find. Definitely looks like a cow shark tooth right there. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Sweet little cow shark. Looks like another little dolphin tooth. Smaller one this time. Nice. That'll clean up real nice. Just met up with Walt. We got a really nice Astalis. Beautiful. And a big shark fur. Nice finds. I think this is another contortus right there. Nice colors on that one. Just came across a beautiful moth on the cliff. I've never seen one like this before. That is gorgeous. We're walking back now and I just spotted a Pistalis or Mako right there. Must have missed that on the way down. Nice. Looks kind of like the other one I found. I think this is a buried shark for it right there. Let's see. Sure is. It's a pretty nice one too. Wow, look at that. Little shark vertebra. Just spotted two teeth. A little contortus here. And I think the lower hemi over here. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, I can see Walt coming in the boat to pick us up. So I think we're calling it a day. It's starting to get dark, but we found some really good stuff. So we're heading home now, and I'm going to show you guys everything that we found when we get back. See you soon. All right, guys, I'm back home. So let's go over the finds from today. Up here, we got the sand tiger shark teeth. This was probably the best sand tiger I got today. Really nice one. Those are threshers. That's a lemon shark. A couple of hammerheads. Some cow shark teeth. This was the only relatively complete one that I got. Pretty nice tooth. These are all Makos or Hestalis, Ancestor of the Great White. That's a nice one. These are all Hemipristus or Snaggletooth sharks. I really like the colors on this one. Beautiful. So those are the upper teeth and these are the lower teeth. This is a nice lower that I found in the water. Beautiful. Some ray plates, so stingray teeth essentially. This I'm very excited about. It's the radius or forearm bone from a dolphin. This is a shark vertebra, really nice one. These are all carcharhinus teeth, so like reef sharks, bull sharks, that kind of thing. Very common and also very common are these tiger shark teeth. A couple of really nice ones. This one's a contortus, one of the species. And this one is an aduncus, the other species. Gotta appreciate the small teeth. Then up here we got this little megalodon tooth. Dried out really nice, I really like the color. You know, it's got some damage, it's not perfect, the borlet's stripped off, there's usually a dark band right there, but still a nice tooth. And then I got these two dolphin teeth right here from two different species. This one's probably from a Urina delphinid, which are the swordfish dolphins. They had super long snouts and almost looked like swordfish. And this one, I think, is my trip maker. This is my favorite thing that I found today, this beautiful dolphin tooth, probably from a Kentriodontid, a different family of extinct dolphins. But just look at how beautiful that dried out. That brown color, the cutting edge, just a perfect dolphin tooth. Just another look at this amazing dolphin tooth. Check that out. Such a beautiful tooth. Probably one of the best dolphin teeth I've ever found. In my book, this is definitely the find of the day. So overall, it was a very successful day of hunting, and here's a look at the final display.
All right, guys. Well, it was a great hunt today. I'm really happy with the haul, especially that little dolphin tooth. That thing is just amazing. As you may already know, the Aurora Fossil Festival was postponed due to the weather, and unfortunately, I was not able to make it back down for the rescheduled festival. So there's just not going to be an Aurora Fossil Festival video this year, but I'll definitely try to be there at next year's festival. I'm going to try to go hunting a lot more frequently in the near future because I'm home for the summer. So hopefully I'll have some more videos coming for you guys very soon. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on my hunt today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to join the hoppy hunting herd. I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Hoppy hunting.